Brees Hall is one of the best running backs in all of college football. He'll be entering the 2022 NFL draft, or at least he should be. Already on the season, he already has over 1,100 yards and 14 touchdowns. Also, 221 yards receiving and a receiving touchdown off 28 catches. So he's being used in all facets of the offense. Last week against Texas, he rushed for 136 yards and two touchdowns. Also caught two balls for 13 yards. He's a good running back. Started the season, he started to get slept on a little bit. But we should expect him to be one of the top rushers in the 2022 NFL Draft class. I got some of the clips pulled from that Texas game, and we're going to go over those right now. Here's the first play we're going to cover. We're in shotgun right now. Brees Hall is in the backfield. Going to go ahead and run it. So he's going to get a pitch to the outside here. 95, escapes through. But he's got the angle on him. And good blocking here to the outside. He's going to take that. Pretty much an easy play here on the edge so far. And now he's got a dude in front of him. But really doesn't need to do much to shake him out. It doesn't really need to do anything at all, really. Goes forward. Still working. Reading the momentum here of 25. 25 is going this way. So, of course, Brees Hall is going to weave this way to, to scoot past him here. Uh, now he's reading his block here, coming down, cracking on 9. He's going to read the momentum of that guy. Bam! Rushing, running, 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 running. Is he going to get in? Score! So one thing you're noting on this play is, of course, here, it's pretty much a gimme. It's a straight shot to the outside, to the edge here. Is right here when we get to the open field, he does a good job of reading the momentum of the defenders around him. He reads the space well. He reads where they're headed and reacts off that. And he also reads his blocks well, too, while he's in space. So here, he knows to keep it going straight. Here he sees 25, so he just whips it to the opposite side he's going to. And now here he's looking for this block. He times his move off that appropriately. And bam, he is now off to the score. Let's just run this real fast, real quick. Let's just run the whole play. And I really just want you to see his athleticism. So one thing you want to note, stop. One thing you want to note when we're looking at his athleticism, when he's got the ball in his hands, he's not overly bursty. He's not the fastest running back on the field. But when we draw this back, is he fast enough? That's all we need to know. Is he fast enough? He looks like he's fast enough. He's not He's not a size adjusted speed demon. He's not that guy. We're going to get excited about the combine. But I think he's going to have just enough speed to keep us interested in him. And I think he's got enough speed to be productive. Is the defense catching up? That guy, 25, has a good angle. He's able to pull away a little bit. We're going to see some more plays. But I think Brees Hall has just enough speed to keep things moving. Obviously, when we're watching him on the field here, he is reading and reacting to everything around him really well. Good vision. Sometimes that helps you out a lot, especially when you're very assertive when you're approaching the line of scrimmage. Next play, we're in shotgun again. It's a little blurry here at the start, but I promise it gets better. But here, he gets the handoff. Notice the line shifting the defensive line, the defense to one way, and he's going to crack it back the opposite side here. We got a DB here cracking down, trying to make the tackle, but Brees Hall does a smart thing. He just cuts it up, just cuts it up. He's just got enough separation here and just enough burst to slip by. Let's watch that part in real time. Bam. So not super bursty on that, but really just enough burst to get by and also the assertiveness to make that move to make that cut. Now he's turned up here. So let's see what happens. He turns into a spin move. Let's watch that again. So he's chaining together moves here. Bam. Spins out. Boom. Circle button. What's going to happen now? Another defender comes up. Jump cut. That is beautiful. This is like playing Tekken on PS2 or whatever, and you're hitting the buttons perfectly. You're in the zone. Look at this. Let's watch this. Slips past him. Let's go back again. He slips by this dude. Whoop! Circle button. J little tiny baby jump cut and bam! And that's it. Hits the outside and gets the game. This is a very pretty run. Like I said, 
He does a good job of reading the momentum around him, anticipating what the defenders are going to do on top of his blockers, and it allows him to make moves like this. This is very pretty. So again, this guy's coming up the hole, just tucks it up, upfield, zero's coming by, automatically spins off of it, and then initially hits that jump cut, that little baby jump cut to get away from that next defender, stack a move on move on move here, and now he's going to run the circle to the outside like I talk about in these videos. Once you're in that second level, everyone's going to collapse towards you. So you collapse away from it or run away from it. And that's what Brees Hall's doing here. Hitting that outside to get the extra yards. You want to say like they're catching up to him. But really this guy just zapped a spin move and a jump cut. And they got a good pursuit angle on him. So really not getting a good idea of how he can pull away. But, again, good run here by Brees Hall. Looks like we got a little red zone action over by the goal line. We're going to hit this up. Gets the handoff. He's going to plow forward. You see the tiny little crease here. That's what he's going to be hitting. He's going to go right through that bad boy. Easy touchdown. Nothing really to see here. So, let's look at the approach here. Bam. So, you really have to read what the blockers are doing. Time everything right here. If you notice, all the hats here are on another hat. And they're pushing the defense towards a certain area. You see the holes blocked open. And really, like, this is a very simple run. Especially as things open up here. But really, it's also simple to mess up. Like here, as things are opening up you really got to be patient to wait for your blockers to open things up because one you can come in like a bat out of hell run up here and really cause one of these guys to slip off their block make a play or you run up the backside of one of your offensive linemen before they can get the the block together all in all he's probably going to get this one almost no matter what because all he's needing to do is run forward here but really if, if you want to pull trent richardson you could be jump cutting all over the place going right and left Pretty run here going forward, getting the score. Nothing really wrong you can really say about Brees Hall here. Smart play, but you just can't take it for granted either. I can see ways other running backs who are not near as good can mess this up. So again, good awareness here by Brees Hall. All right, we're on to the next play here. So bam, it's a direct snap. And he's approaching the line of scrimmage here. We got a little crease here to the left. He's going to take that. And now he, he's got some room to run. He's got some green in front of him. How is he going to handle it? He's going to cut up here, try to slip by, gets tackled. So devil's advocate, you would think, well, maybe he'd go more left. The defender, number four there, he's got the leverage. All he has to do is push off the peel back and get the tackle if he would have went left. That's what he's seeing when he's making the run. So what he's seeing here is follow the ass crap of his blocker here and try and slip past this defender who's diving at him, gets caught. Plus, as this has happened four over here, this defender's starting to weave his way back to where he's at. It's just part of the play, part of what happens. Um, playing devil's advocate, though, thinking you could go outside that way. Ford probably has a good chance of peeling off unless you don't get caught for a holding there. So I think that's a good, good run, good decision there by Hall. Back to the beginning of the play. Direct snap, reading what's going on here. Again, waiting for his blocks to set up because they need to get through there, following the block. Once you get through there, green for days, you hit that up. There's the burst. Not super bursty. That's my big red flag here. Not super bursty, but does he super? Does he really need it? I was about to say, does he super need it? Like, like I don't know why. But again, does he really need it? As long as you got that vision, you're super decisive. I'm saying super a lot now, but if you if you got that good vision, you're really decisive. All you need is just enough. That is the big red flag that I hear people talk about Brees Hall with is his burst, which again, it's not super bursty, but you're also getting very good vision here. You're also getting a guy who can truck dudes. And you're getting a guy with good awareness. So there are some positives as well. And also his long speed is a bit of an issue. As you can see, we don't have any runs here that he's getting the top speed on our little film study today. But you can kind of tell like he's not the fastest back. He's That's not how he's booked or billed as. 
but his ability to get in the open field, make guys miss, read the defender's momentum, react off that, react off his blocks, see the whole field, and you don't have to be the most burstiest back, the fastest back to be able to compete at the NFL level. You just got to be fast enough. You got to be bursty enough. But really, if you have everything else, you got a chance. And he's going to have a chance at the draft capital. I mean, he already has 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns. 2010, he was very productive as well. That last year, he had 1,500 yards, 21 touchdowns. So he's a very good running back is he a generational prospect is he up there with like deandre swift jonathan taylor no is he good enough in the right situation to be a good fantasy back for a few years or whatever yeah he, he has the intangibles he has intangibles to do that he's catching the ball in the backfield he can run between the tackles you can rely on him yeah he, he can do that he can carry the load for you for a bit he may not ever be a stud top five running back at the nfl but he can be a good back. He can be decent. He could be worth a top pick in rookie drafts, especially if he goes to the right team, right situation, and gets the draft capital that we're thinking of. Because if that happens, then obviously the opportunity is going to be there. He's projected to be one of the top running backs in this year's draft. A lot of people like him. I like him. There are some naysayers about speed and burst. I, I kind of get that. We're going to see that at the Combine. And I'm also throwing that into his prospect profile as well. Um, when it comes to his overall value. But right now, I'm looking at his production numbers, what I'm seeing on the field, and I'm seeing a guy who appears to be just fast enough, just bursty enough, good vision, good awareness, and everything else. And I'm just going to let the cards fall as they will. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. Fuels me keep going over to film with you guys, crunching the numbers, trying to help you guys out with your fantasy team and everything else. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.